Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. And how are you today? Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Here's the daily crumb to help you along your way. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day this is for you. A little bit of later morning for me. Welcome to the Daily Crumb with me, Wendy Schneebe, Majeki Quay, your friendly, freaky ass, sweet grass water medicine woman, also Christiana Carr, Chris Carr, superstar. All this beautiful divine being right here. And welcome, all you beautiful divine beings, right here too. And how goes it with you? Oh, I'm a little rough today. Oh. I think I pushed it with my somatic exercises. They say like micro movements. You don't need to do big, big movements. And I think I was over, over tightening and over trying to relax it. That does feel a little better now today. But the pain from the back of my neck there and then going through my whole head. And oh, yeah, I know right now the dice not passed. So I was eating Ritz crackers and hummus and, uh, I don't think that settled in my belly very nice either, so then I was up vomiting. It was, uh, yeah, lots of excruciating pain, you know, but stuff is releasing, right? It's doing a reset. And, uh, yeah, my body's been held so tight for so long. Uh, it takes a lot to loosen it out. Anyways, uh... Okay. I go to bed early, but then that got me up late and it got me up in the middle of the night. Oh, that's not fun. Not fun, but all that praying that really helps. I don't have no time on other my medicines out of my medicine. It's not enough. So praying. That's that's also the best medicine there. Sweet Jesus God all my loving relations. Please help me. Please. And they do. It's amazing too. It's amazing. Before I'm getting panic attacks and stuff. So that's what happens when I've been pushing my body too much. Even when I don't think it's like pushing like I used to. So, you know, that causes a depression. That can make you feel so sad. You know? Way before my time here. Okay? It's alright. It's alright. I brought it on myself, I know. Mm-hmm. Didn't do it all to myself, but I brought it on myself, I guess. <laughs> What's that self-care? I need to start doing more videos with my story, because I'm getting back into that. And I need to share my story, because I know I'm not the only one, and I share. Owning our story and loving ourselves through that process is the bravest thing that we'll ever do. Uh. <laughs> Penny Brown. Oh my goodness. Affirmation. What is a negative narrative you tell about yourself? Take a breath and let it go. Didn't we just do that one recently? <sighs> Can't believe it was that recently. But let's do that again. Let's own our stories here. 12. Ow. Oh. I don't know if you watch these. Um, Anishinaabe Naturals. This gave me a beautiful reading. I'd won a little draw and I didn't even know I was in. Nobody knew she was doing because I share stuff. But anyway, it's beautiful. Um, and that in that reading they came out uh, to share my story but without the emotion. I know I get caught up in emotion. How can we share these stories about our children and not get emotional? <laughs> emotional. <laughs> my children. <laughs> Right? But I know that I do. Because once you get emotion, and then, I'm, oh, yeah, look at her. Why do people think tears is me equals unstable or whatever, right? I don't know. What is that? Anyways, we own our stories, right? And we share those. Sometimes we got to get out of the way when we're too close to it, right? I have to kind of set back because we don't know what that higher vision is for it, right? I like to say lovingly release others to their own life lessons. I don't know what the life lessons for my children I'm here to guide them and let them know that I'm here. 
but we don't know what what our children signed up for or whatever that is for their life lessons because i believe on some level that we signed up for this stuff before we knew what we actually had to go through we just know oh, lots of great lessons come from that let's do this I love that oh there's a totem and, and then one path like that and this thing we talk about radical responsibility b and v but this is what i've done i've been hyper vigilant of myself I, that's me take take responsibility for everything but you know what hey instead of getting ashamed of ourselves i that's it. look at it in a way to get your power back for empowering okay well if i'm responsible for everything that happens to me then hey, i can change that can't i and change that by what I'm accepting into my life. Let's own our stories, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes, I, 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 I signed up for it. Let's own it, okay? Let's own it. And that's the lessons. What am I learning from this? How have I grown from this, right? Now, if, you know, am I choosing to grow better? Or am I choosing to grow wiser? Like, do, is there enough examples out there for me to see of, uh, when I go into misery? Right? You think it's going to be different? What about when we tap into that joy? Right? So that's the great mystery. Tapping into that original source. That original source. The original source of our stories. Hmm. Where'd that come from? We're all part of this human story, this human journey. No matter what. Right? We're all homos. Homo sapiens. Maybe a little Neanderthal. I don't know. And then there's a Nepali. I don't know. They're just, uh, I was just watching Unknown. Um, great thing. Another another thing but anyway anyway but look at that there's there's so many so many stories out there do we so the stealth and and you know what original source is always working behind the scenes very stealthily so you know we don't know we can tap in you know get tapped in tuned in and turned on by that original source in you right um the story of weasel is that weasel could pickpocket creators pocket creator and leave them contemplating the divine navel <laughs> the thing is though we don't know okay there's always something going on behind the scenes something that's always too big for these little human brains to fathom we need to get out of our own way get out of our own heads you know you know the uh, embracing our bodies and we signed up for these ones okay we need these bodies to walk around here to feel the feelings and emotions like when we return to spirit and all that i believe this is just all love we here to feel that contrast and that appreciation for where we come from mm -hmm -hmm. standing people look at the roots and the given that self-reflection and there uh, five four five look at all those numbers okay three seven i don't always look at the numbers do i but burden basking every power ritual of joy tap into your joy own your story share your story all right biggest heart hugs ever yes thank you for being you shine your light through in everything you do because you know what this world needs you to be you fully holy and true don't let that world miss out on all that's you i'm so glad you're here i'm so glad you choose to stay you have a wonderful and blessed day let's go make it so all right all right love you love you all